forecast was supposed to to be eight knots. There is some breeze. And uh, right now we have like four. We have been averaging like two and a half. Not much we can do now. We just sell with what we have. And see what's gonna happen. Just a long old room, so a little bit frustrating. But what can we do? on Sky are 200 miles ahead. Brunel is 40 miles in our bow with 20 knots. That's a good sign. That's a good sign, the wind is not so far away. Okay. One of our lashings that holds the Cunningham on the bottom of the sail and the main on, it's a bit chafed, so I'm just replacing that. Just doing a splice at the moment to go around the bottom of it and then I'll lash it in place. Nice light day so we can get a few of these little jobs ticked off. I think there for sure is a bit of frustration. Um, but then there's also a bit of comfort in knowing that we're, we're with other boats as well. Like Matt Free and Dong Fang are still pretty close to us. So, you know, it wasn't like we had it wrong all on our own. So that's a good thing. Um, and the other thing is the race is still very long. There's still a lot of um, hurdles to come. There's another whole doldrums to go through. So. Anything can really happen. In this race, it's not over until you cross the line. It came in really quick. Within half an hour, we went from 15 knots to 30 knots. And we're sending it like a submarine, as you can tell. So we had a really bad night, obviously, floating around, going nowhere. Like two knots going backwards and forwards, writing our name in the ocean while everybody else was making progress. And even if someone's doing five knots and you're only doing two, it's rubbish. So we lost loads for the leaders. Um, so everyone was a bit depressed. But now we found a win that they had. So it's time for us to make up some ground.